chapter 8, verses 1 through, one through 6. Can you hear me? Please say amen. amen. <laughs> and the word reads as follows. Now he is touching the office of the artist. We know that we all should have knowledge. Knowledge puts the perfect book, but charity edifies. And if any man think that he knows anything, he knows nothing, yet as he ought to know. But if any man love God, the same is known of him. As concerning now of the eating of those things that are offered into sacrifice unto idols, we know that idols are nothing in the world. And there is nothing none other than God the Lord. For though, for though there be that are called gods, whether in heaven or in earth, as there be God in it, and Lord in it. And, to, and verse 6 says, But to us there is but one God, the Father of whom are all things, and we in him, and one Lord Jesus Christ, the whom are all things, we by him. But the word bless the people. Amen. Amen. We just praise the Lord today. It's amazing how he hit that scripture. And I like that. we we'll read that last verse. Amen. It says here, but for us there is but one God, the Father, of whom are all things, and we made him, and one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we by him. It's amazing. God had him in the spirit today. We're going to be dealing with the subject with who was Jesus Christ today, and we're going to be dealing with the oneness of God today. We're going to be dealing with doctrine today and dealing with the oneness of God today. Amen? A lot of times we forget that as apostolics or whatever. It's just a name, apostolic. But a lot of times we forget that, the teaching of the oneness of God. So today, we're going to be hitting a little bit on that. We're going to be hitting a lot. We're going to be hitting a little bit on that. Let's turn to Genesis chapter number one. Genesis chapter number one. And verse one. Amen? In the beginning, what do the Bible say? In the beginning, God created the heaven, the heaven and the earth. Amen? In the beginning, who? God created the heaven and the earth. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And a lot of times people say that is the Father God. How many of y'all agree with you believe that that's the Father God? Raise your hand. You believe. You don't believe? Don't raise it. We're going to see whether or not it's told in the word of God. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, right? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let's go to Isaiah chapter number 9 and verse number 6. Isaiah chapter number 9 and verse number 6. Dealing with the oneness of God today. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. Amen. We ain't going to hit all the things. We're going to take my Lord. It'll take us a whole three months. We're going to deal with the oneness of God. We're just going to gleam on today. Just going to touch on it today. Because every now and then we need to hit that doctrine aspect of this of this thing called Christianity. Amen. Need to know what you believe. Amen. Need to understand the word of God. Need to know what you believe. And the word of God says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. So that seemed to me that Isaiah chapter 9 got the fullness of the Godhead in that one scripture. It's got the Son in that one scripture. Amen. It's got the mighty God in that one scripture. Amen. Amen. Let's go a little bit further. <coughs> Amen. Let's go to let's go to the book of John, chapter number one. And verse one. Amen. Because, you know, we read that and we say, well, yeah, you know, we talk about the Father. We're going to be dealing a little bit with John and then we're going to call it Christmas for today. But I want to touch on a little bit to let you know that when you pray to Jesus, you got all of that, all the fullness of the God in Jesus. That's what we baptize in Jesus' name. Pastor, why don't we baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost? In the book of Colossians, it whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give the thanks of the God and the Father by Him. Amen. So when you do it in Jesus' name, you got all of it. Amen. John chapter number one and verse one. Amen. 
this is more of a, this ain't a preaching message, I can, uh, this is more of a teaching lesson today, and I want y'all to get ready to get some teaching in today, dealing with the wonders of God. We ain't going to deal on the scripture today, just, 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 just the wonders today, praise the Lord. It says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things was made by who? By him. And without him was not anything made that was made. How was all things made? By the word of God. Who in the world is the word of God? Jesus is the word of God. Y'all don't believe me? I got the book to back me up. So that means to tell me that in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1, that was Jesus created everything. Everything was created by Jesus Christ. I don't believe that. Did I just show it to you in the Bible? Okay, let's read again. All things was made by him, and was not him, was not anything made that was made. In him was light, and the light was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. That was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for, for a witness to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of the light, that was the true light which lighted every man that cometh into the world. In other words, your being in the earth realm is because of Jesus Christ's grace and mercy. In the book of Acts chapter number 17, the Bible says it is in him we live, we move, we have our being. So you did not get it on your own. So somebody said, this is my life. Baby, they was only your life because God gave it to you. That breath that's in your mouth, it came from God. That breath is in my mouth because of God. And at any time, if you want to withdraw that breath, guess what you do? Withdraw. You don't have to have a heart attack. You don't have to have a stroke. You can just say it's time to stop living. And you stop breathing. And we put so much, oh, it's my life. I'm the captain of my own ship. I make my own decision. Baby, if only God is, oh my goodness, it's all about the grace and mercy of God to be able to think it's got the intelligence and the capacity to reason. It's only the grace and mercy of God. And we think we all that, baby. We ain't nothing. I'm going to put myself in that. We ain't nothing. <laughs> See, the Bible says, He was not that light, but was sitting about with us the light. That was the true light which lighted every man that coming into the earth realm, into the world. He was in the world, here we go again, he was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world did not comprehend who he was. Amen? He came unto his own, and his own received him not. He came unto the tribe of Israel. He came unto Abraham's seed. He came unto Jacob's seed. And they rejected him. Amen. Ain't that the Bible? Amen. Who else was his children on earth other than the children of Israel at that time? Nobody. Amen. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. And the Bible says, but as many as received him, gave him power to become the son of God, even if they would believe on his name. So your sonship, your daughtership is wrapped up, tied up, painted up in Jesus Christ. It ain't painted up in Muhammad. It ain't painted up in Buddha. Somebody say, that's more than one way. I mean, man, he's just a well-known minister. Is that any more than one way to get to God? And he said, I think that's more than one way to get But according to my word, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming unto the Father by me. I'm not down in any other religion. They just take the right thing. I'm not, I'm not going to come against them. I'm not going to talk about them. They just take the right way to get to God. According to my mind. And sometimes we can't play games with that. No, baby, you ain't on the right track. You need to come over into the Lord's side. Over on the Lord's side. Say that song to him. Yes, Lord. 
Well, Pastor, you know they couldn't call people. Ain't nothing wrong with that. They couldn't call people, but guess what? They just ain't saved. 